Welcome back, everybody. So today we are examining DNA shockers, something our next guest experienced firsthand, when in one moment, his identity changed. Watch. Growing up in Florida, Stephen King was proud of his family lineage, especially his grandparents, Cleveland and Louise King. My grandparents were so highly regarded in the community. My grandmother worked at the local school. My grandfather started a carpentry school. Stephen's life, however, was met with tragedy at just two years old when his father died. I always missed him at school functions, birthdays, holidays, the births of my children. When Stephen was seven years old during his grandmother's funeral, he overheard some news about his father. I overheard my mother telling another family member that my father was adopted. But years later, he heard conflicting information. Stephen wanted answers. Going into dusty old courtrooms, lugging out great big huge books and records. Finally, in the summer of 2016, Stephen took a DNA test on Ancestry.com. The results shook his world. I was not biologically a king, despite anything that had been told me. That's pretty devastating. King discovered his father had been adopted, and he had no biological connection to his beloved grandparents. You feel like you're literally detached from the universe, like your identity's gone. I was left to try and sort out 62 years of secrets and lies to determine who my father's true father was. Wow. Stephen King is with us now, along with Catherine Sinclair. Now, you two met through Catherine's support group, right? Correct. So you're sort of living proof that connecting with others on this kind of thing can Indeed. be helpful. So can, first, can you explain, explain that feeling of like why it was so devastating to find it out? I mean, it was shocking, of course, but why upsetting and devastating to you? It's such basic information about your individuality that should not be revealed via a DNA test or an email. Yeah. This are such personal details that should be revealed to you by your family. So your dad was adopted. Correct. But you didn't know that. I knew that. Well, you heard a rumor, right? But then you heard conflicting information? There were some secrets and what we know now were lies around his father. His biological his father? His biological father. Okay. Because, you know, do you think that when he grew up, he knew he was adopted? He knew that he was adopted. We don't know what he was told about his biological father. And then, so, why wouldn't he just tell you and everybody from an early age in your life that you were, that, that he was the, uh, adopted and... So, my, I lost my dad three months after my second birthday. And so I went through my whole childhood grasping for every detail, every tidbit of information about him. Mm -hmm. And so, as it was told, first getting the information at seven years old that he was adopted, then a few years later, someone saying, this man was your father, and then later on to find out 20-something years later that that was not true. So the, the, the bottom line that you walked away with was your dad was adopted, your paternal grandparents, who you admired so much, um, were not biologically related Correct. to you. Um, but they were still your grandparents, right? Indeed, I mean, and they, they always will be. Like, doesn't, to people out there saying, that, that's what makes you a king. Right. You know? Like, that's what, that's what does it. Right. Do you feel that? I do feel that now. But at the time, two and a half years ago, it was devastating. You feel like you are completely a stranger to yourself. Mm -hmm. And no person should need to get basic information about themselves mm -hmm. through that method. How did you figure it out, ultimately, the whole story and who your dad's parent? Like, what did you do once you got the ancestry test back to figure out more? So I was, I was connected with an online group, um, separate from the NP Friends group, and I was blessed to get in touch with a team of researchers, and they held my hand through the process, and they were able to determine, ultimately, who my true paternal grandfather was. And then what'd you do? And thankfully, I had a family welcoming me on the other side. My family has grown immensely since then. Oh, really? And I'm very proud, and, and that's been a blessing. Unfortunately, so many in this situation, they don't have that welcoming from their family. Mm -hmm. They have doors shut in their face. They are talked about. They have hateful, hateful things say to, said to them. And we see it all the time in the group. Mm -hmm. It's actually the norm. 
What, yeah. do, what do you, I mean, to people out there who are thinking about taking a DNA test, right, as two people who went through it and got back results other than you expected, would you recommend doing it? I think, I wouldn't say I recommend doing it, but if you're going to do it, be prepared because you are opening Pandora's box. And the information that you will discover via one email could be life-changing. Right. It's not even like when somebody gingerly delivers bad or surprising news to you. You get an email. Right. There's no setup for right. this is a big moment and have a support group nearby. Exactly. Like you on the phone with the woman who said, I know exactly what I'm looking at. Wow. Well, listen, it's good you have each other, right? Indeed. And that you're able to talk about it. And thank you for coming here and telling us your story, too. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.